Welcome to the Dr. Nurse Podcast. Guys, today I have a really special guest. Amanda Guarini is on the podcast today. She is a graduate of Yale Nursing School in 2011. She is a dual certified nurse practitioner in women's health and adult. In 2018, she started her business called the Resume RX. And it is a business that offers career support for nurses and NPs so that they can find, land, and love their dream jobs. She has a podcast titled Nurse Becoming, which is an inspirational podcast for me. It actually is what helped spur me on to create my own podcast. And she also has the NP Society, which is a professional membership community that focuses in on helping NPs thrive in the clinical setting. She is here today and she is so, she's happily married married with three little girls, and she's here to kind of describe her journey and how she got to where she is today. So I am so happy to have you on, Amanda. Thank you for coming onto the podcast and chatting with me today. So I kind of went on this soul searching mission. And ultimately, when I was studying abroad later that year in Italy, I had these little epiphany moments and these little nudges that was basically telling me that okay, this is your time. Your undergrad time is time for you to study your hobbies. But after this, you oh. should go into a profession that is a a service profession. And so kind of roundabout, I figured out that I wanted to go into nursing. My mom's a nurse. So it was kind of staring me in the face my whole life. And I knew that the end goal was for me to become an NP. I was really aligned with the role of NP. I had some really positive NPs and midwife figures in my life when I was a patient. And I said, this is what I want to do. So I looked for programs that would allow me to do that and come to find out there were all of these direct entry master's programs that were really designed for for me. They were designed for people just like me who had bachelor's degrees in other fields and knew that they wanted to become NPs. Yeah, I, I went back full time. And the reason, part of the reason was I was in a loan repayment contract. And that loan oh, repayment contract yeah. was, I had delayed it for while I was on maternity leave. And when I went back, like you didn't get the payments if you weren't working full time and there were all these things that would go wrong if you canceled it. So whatever, I went back full time and the, the feeling was, it, it's kind of hard to describe, but the feeling was like I was leaving the people who needed me the most in the world for people who needed someone, but didn't need me. Right. And, and so it was this constant kind of push and pull between, okay, who am I going to be, who am I caregiving for, right? So how can I sacrifice caregiving for these babies who are my entire life to take care of, of people who I didn't know? And, and don't get me wrong, like it's an honor to care for strangers in their worst moments, right? Like it's an honor to do what we do, but I ended up developing resentment towards my job for taking me away from the people who needed me the most. So it was like this constant like attachment, this pull. I, I was always being drawn home and I couldn't be 100% present in my work. And I started to fall out of love with the work that I was doing. Yeah. I mean, when I went part-time at work the the I, I ended up having all this space in my brain again to think about things right and one of the things that i thought about was well what if i is it possible that i never have to go back and work full time again if i don't want to right what what am i allowed to do and i feel like my whole life i was a people pleaser, a rule follower, teacher's pet, do everything that's expected of me and and do it 110% to to a fault, right? Overachiever to a fault is is what you could call me and and so to have that space to imagine what I want to do in my own way. Like, oh, I'm all of a sudden a, an adult and I can decide what I want my life to look like. So that was what I started thinking about when uh, I dropped to part-time. And and I knew that I wanted to entertain the idea of having a third baby. And I didn't necessarily want to feel obligated again to working full-time as I had for a long time, 
right? So I wasn't necessarily thinking, okay, what's my exit strategy? I wasn't thinking, how can I get away from working clinically as an NP? That was not even on my radar, but I started to think, okay, how can I have the best of both worlds, right? I, I, I envy the stay-at-home moms, but I also want to make money and support my family 